On the right side of the screen is the side panel. The side panel contains various options for displaying and modifying 3D restorations or models. In the menu opened here, it also shows the additional menu for displaying models. We click on the lower jaw model, hold the left mouse pressed, and drag down to increase its transparency. This makes it easier to assess the proximal contacts. An integral innovation in CIRIC 4.0 is the tool wheel. It always appears when you right-click on the restoration. On the top right is Form, which removes, adds, and smooths material. Below this, we have the Move tool to position and rotate. Below this is the Shape tool with circular and anatomical modification possibilities. On the left, beside this, is the Recalculate tool. Above this is the Biogeneric Variation tool that allows customization of the biogeneric morphology. Above this again is the Contact tool for distal, mesial, and occlusal modifications. The tool wheel is always centered over the right mouse click on the restoration. We now want to use the Shape tool with anatomical modifications. We select it, turn the model to an appropriate position, and point to an anatomical feature of the tooth. In this case, a cusp. One can see how the cusp follows the mouse when it is held and dragged. This shaping is three-dimensional. On this example, the distal part of the tooth can be moved in both the occlusal and cervical planes, and then, when held on another position, be moved mesially and distally. We see here how the coloration of the contact points has changed.